One of the greatest lessons I learned from my mother is that you don't throw something out just because it's useless. She was talking about dad, but I'd like to apply the same principle to this old chair. It got broken when Buster Hadfield leaned back on it, not realizing it wasn't a recliner, even though he is. So this week on the Handyman Corner, I'm gonna show you a way to put fancy backs on all of these old chairs. Buster's a bit of a slow learner. This is a style you don't see that much of anymore. It's, uh, it's called caning. Yeah, they used to do a lot of that, yeah. The workers would cane the chairs and the bosses would cane the workers. <laughs> this is wood here and they bend that into a shape like that, which uh, to me looks very difficult and extremely time consuming, which are two no-nos for my kind of handyman. <laughs> now I suppose you could trudge through the woods until you found a tree that was growing the exact shape of a chair back. But I prefer to use a material a little easier to work with than wood. I'm thinking garden hose. And here again, you can cut the hose into the exact lengths that you need. But I prefer to just do kind of a random slice of attic thing and then just adapt to whatever I get. I love a challenge. reach into a lawnmower. Safety. Okay, now what you want to do is take your various pieces of your garden hose and you want to recreate the cane back look exactly and you want to attach that on there using the furniture builder secret weapon, duct tape. All right, we got our uh, basic shape done there and I'll tell you, once you cover that with the uh, vinyl wood grain trim there, I defy anybody to tell that from the original, huh? <laughs> oh, all right, yeah, yeah, oh, that's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot one thing. Um, they're a bit too flimsy, you know, because uh, very few garden hoses were ever designed to hold the weight of an adult human. So what we need to do is we gotta, we gotta reinforce the unit by filling the hoses with cement, eh? All right, just uh, pour the cement down the inside of the hose there. You might have to shake her down. Might take a minute or two to slide down there. All right, uh, actually, to, actually, to get the cement down there, what you want to do is you want to wipe off the end of the hose line, and then you want to, and you want to actually blow on. You want to blow on that. I'm alone. All right, just blow on that. Blow the cement down there. All right. Um, actually, to get the cement down there, she's pretty, she's pretty thick. Now, so you gotta blow really, really hard, really. <laughs> okay, and uh, once the cement uh, hardens inside the hoses, all you gotta do is, as I said before, cover them with the vinyl fake wood stuff, and you got yourself a beautiful chair. It's every bit as good as the original. In fact, these chairs are sturdier, they're stronger, they're heavier. Yeah, they're, well, the, you know, the cement in the back, they have a tendency now to, to fall over backwards. So what you could do there is just either bolt them down or just sit in them all day, eh? as if you need an excuse. So remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy.